And although Hartlepool found one way through, it wasn't enough. That's on by Humphreys. Crowd won't like that. Henderson went to ground very, very quickly there. Henderson, not the same player since he lost his strike partner, Tommy Miller, the prolific midfield man who went to Ipswich for big money last year. And it's 1 0. Again, the passing is excellent from Hartlepool. Here's Humphreys out wide, and it's another tremendous goal, and it's Richie Humphreys. Danny Williams always trying to be a little bit clever there. The ball breaks free, and it's into the path of Humphreys. Birthday boys free, he's 25 years old today, the former Premiership man. Oh, Brocky, what are you doing? Near post again. but Richie Humphreys warmed up the pool faithful with a virtuoso performance. He started the route with a gliding solo effort and it went from bad to worse for the Welshman. They coughed up possession and that led to an unselfish act from Daryl Clark that laid on Humphreys' second goal. And Richie had bagged the match ball before an hour was played. The skippers crossed from the right and Humphreys climbed highest to complete a richly deserved hat trick. Humphreys down the line. Robinson with good work. Still with Robinson. All about going solo. It's out to Mickey Barron. Great build up here. Barron's continued. What's on the end of this for Hartlepool? It's Richie Humphreys at the second attempt, and it is 4 0 Hartlepool. It's not even half time. In the second half, it was really just a question of how many Hartlepool were going to get. Richie Humphreys was next onto the score sheet with a quality goal that was just too good for Whitby. Strachan's set piece, Nelson up there. So to Richie Humphreys, 2 1 Hartlepool. Rich Things to come very soon as it happens because County never cleared the ball properly and acting skipper Richie Humphreys scored an absolute blinder at the outside of his left foot. Cross again, Hartlepool right on top now on Richie Humphreys, yes! He's deserved that, played well today Richie Humphreys. Somebody was bound to pay for it eventually and it was Wrexham, Richie Humphreys started it. Boy, Cooley playing it into the space for Porter. He's got Humphreys alongside him, and Humphreys makes it 3-0. And then in stoppage time, defender Richie Humphreys went on a bender and scored a dramatic winner for Danny Wilson's team. Accrington have now lost four successive league games. The last two minutes to play, yielding two more goals for the home team. Richie Humphreys got the first. Hartlepool did get back into the match with 19 minutes remaining when Willie Bolland's cross was guided into the net by Richie Humphreys whose late run into the area wasn't checked by Ian Moore. He couldn't be stopped as Richard Duffy's attempted clearance proved disastrous. Humphreys on target for the first time since March 2008. Hartlepool were rampant and deservedly went ahead four minutes after the restart when Sweeney turned provider. Crossing for Richie Humphreys to score with a spectacular scissors kick. The former Sheffield Wednesday striker netting just his second goal for the best part of three years. Hartlepool with players streaming forward into the penalty area. Football towards the back post, still in across, Humphreys! Hey, hey. 
it's good body strength. Here's Neil Austin again. Oh, that's a wonderful ball! And on half time, Richie Humphreys heads Hartley full into a one goal lead. Richie Humphreys was a Boyhood Blades fan who never made the grade at the club. Murphy's Law decreed that it would be the former Wednesday man that made it an unhappy anniversary for Bramall Lane. 14 points from safety. John Hughes said he watched the Ryder Cup reruns over Christmas.